Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Summer Nicole, so hey girl. Today, if you can already tell by the title and by my hair, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really cute, quick and easy braid, okay? So if you are the kind of girl who are looking for something like quick, protective, different, but cute for the summertime, you know? You wanna step out Sunday, fun day, or you got a little party to go to or something and you just want something cute and different, I'm about to show you how to do this real easy, really cheap <laughs> a ponytail, okay? So if you wanna see how I got this look, make sure you continue to watch. But before we get into this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so for this tutorial, all you're really gonna need is some gel, a brush um, and some braiding hair. I have some that I found around my house, a pack of braiding hair that I found around my house. You can use whatever kind of braiding hair you want to. I'll show you what kind that I'm using. I just found this from like leftover box braids or something that I got. So I'm just gonna use that. You only need one bundle of it and yeah. So I'm starting off, I already slicked my hair back in this um, ponytail. Use whatever products you like. However you can get your hair the slickest, go ahead and do that right now. And um, yeah, so I just brushed mine back with some water and eco style gel. And I added this little part right here. You don't have to add a part, you can do it straight back. Um, you can do a side part, you can do a middle part, you can do it however you want. You can do a high pony, you can do a middle pony, you can do a low pony. I opted for like a middle pony. It's not really like super low. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into how we're gonna be writing this, all right? Okay, so obviously, um, the longer your hair is, the longer the ponytail will be. So just keep that in mind. Um, so the hair should already come with a rubber band separating it like in the middle with a little extra at the end of the rubber band. You can take this and put it directly around your ponytail, your real hair if you want. I like to take just like a regular ponytail holder Put it right there in the middle. Twist it around a couple times. Bring it through the other side. For, I don't know, this just feels more secure this way to me. So now you're gonna take the ponytail holder and you're gonna secure it to your real hair, okay? So you're just gonna take it like a regular ponytail holder. You wanna be sure that the fake hair is at the top, right? Like this, sitting on top of your ponytail. Find that bottom piece and just wrap it around. Okay, this is how we're looking, right? You got your braided hair sitting right on top. of your real hair. That's how it should be looking. And then you wanna separate your braiding hair into three pieces. You also wanna take, don't take about this much out to wrap around when you're finished, okay? You wanna pair each of those pieces that you just separated from your real ponytail with a piece 
from the fake ponytail. Okay, from the with the fake hair. All right, so let's go. You want to start braiding from behind. Don't pull it to the side and start braiding yet because it'll start off like looser at the top and you don't want that. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start braiding like a regular braid. And you wanna make sure you braid it tight. what it should look like your braid and now when you're about here with it you can bring it over to your side like this because I know it's easier and start braiding it like that and when you bring it over to the side make sure that you don't start um, like braiding a different direction or anything I'm not gonna lie, these braids are for sure trial and error. Like, you get it right sometimes. Sometimes you have to do it multiple times. Okay, so when you get to the bottom, sorry, there's a piece of hair. When you get to the very bottom of it, you can either um, braid it and then like put like a little black rubber band on it if you want, or you can braid it all the way to the end, um, like as far as you can braid and dip it in like some um, super hot water, you know, or if you don't have like a little rubber band or something, you can really just tie like the end in a in a knot so it doesn't come out. <laughs> just what I'll probably just do. All right, so now that you have the braid part finished, you just wanna take the little part that we left out. You wanna brush it out to like make sure it's smooth. You can add some gel to it that just make sure it's smooth and then you wrap it around the ponytail the top of the ponytail okay make sure it's smooth and just wrap it girl And then when you get to the very end, you can either like tuck it with a bobby pin 
or you can just like tuck it in it's not gonna go nowhere okay so i finished off my edges and baby hair if you want you could like um tie a scarf around it or like those um what are they called the wrap paper wrap whatever i don't know what they call it but yeah you can tie that around your edges and just make sure everything is slicked down but yeah this is the final pony let me know what y'all think about it let's do like a little a little turny turn full 360 mm -hmm. just a quick and like easy style if you know you want something cute and different for the day so i'm done with my hair i'm done with my ponytail i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm about to go enjoy my sunday fun day okay girl with my pony <laughs> and yeah comment down below let me know what you guys thought about this video and what else you want to see don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video bye it's not a game, it's a red skin.